This is the area that I'm planning, that I'm hoping that my children and my grandchildren will want to live in because it is such a successful and exciting place. That's the kind of neighborhood I want to build. I want to build a neighborhood that everybody's children and grandchildren want to go to. The plan is actually really important because um, as the economy comes back and we see a lot of our businesses start to grow and expand, Nike is an example of one that's growing and expanding. There are a lot of jobs with a lot of the other big employers here. There's some to the south, some to the north. Those people need a place to live that's close by that they can commute with a reasonable commute and raise a family. And it, having a place to raise a family is the really important part of what this whole South Cooper Mountain Annexation area is about. There's a real clear need for additional housing and particularly single-family housing and it's hard to come by a green acre and this was, this was it. So that's really why we made the decision to push forward with that plan. If we take a look at the topography, we anchor the whole top with that beautiful South Cooper Mountain Nature Reserve. We've taken advantage of that jewel at the top, and we are going to be connecting that with paths, et cetera, down to these other small local areas within the local communities um, that we can nest the whole thing together so that the whole area then has pathways for animals to travel, pathways for people to travel, and the whole thing then works together respecting the mountain. And I'm excited because the natural features are going to be accentuated and retained as much as we can. We do not forget that they were, the land was here before we were. One of the things that I love about Oregon is that we realize we have to have urban spaces but have them right next to and protect so deeply that natural area. It's part of the fact that we have an urban growth boundary which forces us to use land within that boundary to create the housing. In talking with some of the developers that actually control the land, I'm hoping there would be a blend of affordable housing as well as, you know, middle income and upper level housing, some apartments obviously, and people will have more options. And I think the real key is to continue to give people choice. By providing that opportunity to the South Cooper Mountain area, you could just put houses, boom, 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 or apartments, boom, 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 boom. But how do you actually blend them together so you go across socioeconomic classes, so that they don't all look alike, so that it looks like it's thought out, so that it's a pleasurable place where you can walk and ride bikes, and walk to the store, have a community, access the natural waterways, that sort of thing. One of the parts of South Cooper Mountain that's really nice is that we have a lot of integrated neighborhoods so that the concept is your neighborhood's only maybe half a mile across. It's a really walkable area where you get to know a lot of people, etc. But everything is then interconnected so that then you can walk across the broader area, bike across the broader area, drive across the broader area, so that you have both a little sense of community and then a bigger sense of community bringing the whole thing together. Do you want a sense of place that's a livable, walkable, bikeable, drivable area? Planning makes a whole lot of sense because it develops something that works well for everybody. There was open input the whole way through the process, which is really important to me. This can't be done in a closed-in area. It, it needs everybody's ideas to be the best place it can be. We actually presented what it was going to look like. People say, we don't like this, we don't like that. We also talked about financing. That's really important. How are you going to pay for the streets, the sewers, and so on? And we were pretty, pretty doggone open about it. And uh, we took comments to heart, and we brought them back, and then we reworked things. We actually changed different ways that the traffic was going to flow in this area as a result of those conversations. And that's good planning. And we're moving forward confident that we've got a vision that a lot of people share.